Hi, I'm Eric Colburn from ericcolburn.com, and in this AutoCAD Simple 3D for Land Surveyors video, I will show you how to create survey point groups in AutoCAD Civil 3D survey databases. So you can see on the left hand side of the screen in the tool space, I've already selected the survey tab and I've opened a survey database for editing. And in that survey database, you'll see, in any survey database, you'll see a container called survey point groups. You, you may have used it, but this may be something new to you. And what it allows you to do is to filter and group your survey database points uh, into these point groups, which really helps you to work with your drawings and more easily insert and actually, if you want to also uh, bring out points from a drawing and remove them, helpful in that regard too. So you can see in this one, I already have in this database, I have an aerial point group, a boundaries point group, features point group and a traverse control point group. So let's look at how to create a new point group. So I'm going to click on the container survey point groups and right click and in the options that come up I'm going to select new and you'll see here you got the survey new survey point group dialog box and I'm just going to call it new. You can enter a description if you like I'm not going to and because it has no points in this group yet the count is zero. Now on the bottom of this dialog you'll see all the points that are in the survey database and you can click on the select box and add points as you like individually and that's fine for a small selection of points works pretty good but if you need to select a bunch of groups there are shortcuts and easier ways of, of doing that some tips that I have for you but the first thing you can do is you can click on description for instance and it'll then reorganize all the points in the survey database by the description code and you know at that point if you want to select I'm going to select all the F for fence points you can do that but like I said before that maybe isn't the most efficient way of working so let's just say that in order I want to select all these points from here to here so what you can do is you can click the starting point. Now you can't see what I'm doing but I'm holding down the shift key and while I keep the shift key held down I then click on the last point within the area that I want to select and the key is if you let go of the shift key and before you select a box you at most will select one point so keep the shift key down select the box and it will now select all those points and add them to the point group Another quick way of doing it is if you want to select multiple points but they're not in a row, you can hold the control key down. So click the first point that you want to select. Now, again, I'm holding down the control key on the computer, and then I can select points out of order. And if you try to now click on the select box with the control key down it really it, all it will do is deselect that point so what you have to do is for a minute for a second just take your finger off the control key hold down the shift key and then select the, the add to box and those points will be added so we've added some points to the new point group select OK and you can see now over here it's been added to the survey point groups area and these are all the points that we just added to that point group and now I'm going to switch to model space and what you can do is right click on any one of the point groups I'm going to click on new and again you can click on properties which brings up that same dialog box where you can now add or remove points if you'd like uh, but you can also insert into drawing remove from drawing delete it uh, and under points, what comes in really handy is you can, you can edit the points. So there's all the points if you need to make edits. Or what we'll do here is we will insert into the drawing. So now all those points in that survey point groups at once go placed from the survey database into the drawing. And that can be a nice way of working because this allows you to separate drawings with different don't need all the points in every drawing so just put the, the points that you actually need in a drawing 
And to do that easily, you can create a point group to begin with, and then insert all the points into each individual drawing that's appropriate. But another use of this is if you're in the process and you're drawing something and you just need a selection set of your survey data points to be put into the drawing, but you don't really want to keep them there, it really helps speed that up because like this, say these were the points that I wanted to put in. And then I wanted to do some line work. Just going to make up some line work here. Draw the big dipper a little. And when you're done with that, you maybe you don't want to leave those points in the drawing. You can right click on it on the survey point groups and remove from drawing. It's going to ask if you want to remove them. And then all the points are removed. So it's really a, a great way of organizing, filtering those points, and being able to bring them into the drawings when you need them, use them. Maybe you leave them in the drawing, or maybe you take them out when you're done to make the drawing a little more clean. Uh, a little more organized and, and, and a smaller file size. So, so that's how you do that. So this has been AutoCAD Civil 3D for Land Surveyors. I'm Eric Colburn from ericcolburn.com and in this video we showed you how to create survey point groups in AutoCAD Civil 3D survey databases.